Hey, what is up, guys? Skullified here, and we are here with the first episode of Hawkeye. Um, Never Meet Your Heroes is the title. So I don't really know what's going on. I read the little synopsis, and they said it mentioned Kate Bishop, who I did hear her name before, but I don't know who she is. I don't think she's Clint's daughter because she doesn't share the Barton name. So I don't think she's related in any way. Um, but Hawkeye is one of those characters that I don't know that much about. I never really caught any of like the small details of him throughout watching the Marvel movies. So it'll be nice to get to see him a little bit. Um, obviously we haven't really seen anything of him since Endgame. Um, since uh, Natasha kind of saved him by throwing herself off. But he does have a family because that was like his whole point of Endgame of wanting to save everyone was so he could be back with his family. Um because they all disappeared um but besides that i don't really know what we're going to be going on we do have the double episode drop today so at some point later probably in a few hours i will have episode two out for you guys but these are like 50 minute episodes and right after i record this i'm going to try and get it up so that it's up as soon as possible so that means episode two will be out in probably like two to three hours hopefully if everything goes according to plan but yeah, again, I'm very excited. I hope you guys are excited to join me on this journey. If you guys want to watch any other Marvel things that I've reacted to, the playlist is up that away. Um, go go check that out. I've reacted to Loki, Falcon and Winter Soldier. I just reacted to Shang-Chi last Saturday um, and all the what ifs. So go check those out if you haven't already. And yeah, episode 1x1 of Hawkeye. Well, let's get into it. Oh, we're back to widescreen. Damn. I'm kind of disappointed in that. I, I really liked the aspect ratio they had for the Shang-Chi movie. Of not being completely widescreen, but also not being completely full screen. When did you go grab the checkers? We can liven things up. Okay. Huh? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to go downstairs. I'll be right back. Okay. Checkers? Can't, can't, not even classy enough to play chess, huh? Mm. It's 2012, so this is uh, the first Avengers, yep. Oh, shit. I was wondering why they were flashing back to 2012. Oh, do her parents both die? Oh, that's ass. She's not gonna, like, want to take out the Avengers because of this shit. So she's gonna be, she's not gonna be, like, after Hawkeye, right? Okay, but for real, where did her parents go in this time? Like, they, they wouldn't have just run out to the street, right? Just, to, like, why aren't her parents in the house? Her mom literally had just walked down the stairs. Oh, shit. Imagine living right outside of Avengers Tower. Oh shit. Hawk oh, so does Hawkeye save her? Okay, so maybe this isn't Villain Backstory. Maybe she just ends up wanting to be like him? Oh, maybe she's the kid that he's training. Oh. Okay, mom's still good. Cool. What about father? I assume not. Well. Damn, okay. So, so I take it the father was just in the room that got blown up. Show me how to use a bow and arrow. I, need to go on. <laughs> I called that shit. Okay. Cool. Alright, so maybe she isn't a bad guy, which would make, I guess, more sense why we're focusing on her so much. But I, I just figured that... Um, because I, I thought in either Infinity War or Endgame... I think Endgame, because Endgame is the cold open of his family. I thought that... I don't know why I said cold open. Just has the open with his family. 
Um, I thought he was training his daughter how to use it, like, to become the next, like, Hawkeye slash bow and arrow person. But I, I guess maybe it's her? Still pretty impressive that she hit that and is probably going to hit this again. With all the added shit on the end of the arrow. Just raising her hand a bit. Oh, that. Never mind, I thought that was gonna way overshoot it. See, yeah, it's the dangly thing. See, I'm smart when it comes to this. And now you're gonna get in trouble, probably. How do you fuck up that hard? And how did he just know there was someone here? Does she get arrested for this shit? <laughs> that sucks! This is in such bad taste! Is it not? I don't know, maybe... <sighs> oh, yeah, that... That's just rough. I guess it's maybe not, like, terrible taste for just, like, in general, maybe, because, like, they're heroes and they're just being, like, kind of, like, building it up, but, like, especially for him... Someone recognized him, that's cool. Yeah, this is like, I don't know. For like, as a mad musical, just in itself, isn't that bad, it's bearable to listen to. But. Yeah, being in his like position and have been through this is probably like, terrible flashbacks. Thanos was right. That's fucked. What the fuck? Fucking weird ass. What the fuck, man? Good God. Oh, so did Kate not get arrested for her whole Bell incident? I figured she would have. Seeing, you know, she, like, destroyed public property. Hmm. Okay, so she's just very talented in fighting things. Huh. Oh. I guess so. I never thought of it like that. Okay. Sorry, but we'll see you at the party. See you there, honey. So that guy has to be a villain, maybe, possibly. You can't just have so <laughs> the fucking clock again. You look like a maniac. I feel I feel like you can't have those swords and not be an evil person. Wow. Okay. Thank you. Hmm, that's a awkward, awkward part of the night. Well, although I guess, I guess, I mean, I wouldn't, I personally wouldn't be complaining, but I'm pretty sure he probably has the money where dinner is not like that much of a concern for him. And that is not a red dress. Wait, what? Armand the Third? Excuses. 
with your mom who's getting married and you don't know? Yeah, probably. Come on, Armand. Come on. He seems like he's someone. I don't know. Armand seems like a sim like a familiar name, but apparently there's seven of them, so I, I probably have heard it somewhere before. <laughs> yeah, she's not happy. Because her, she definitely preferred her dad after, or while well, they're growing up, it seemed at least. So like seeing her dad replaced is probably pretty rough. Is her mom bad? Who I'm trying, to, I'm still trying to think, think who's gonna be the villain in this series. Or like, whatever, the antagonist or whatever. Hmm. Okay, yeah, so there's something going on with both of them. Hmm. Mom, what was that about? Is that guy threatening me? I honestly, I, I have no idea. Why are you lurking in the hallway? I slipped outside getting air. I'll come back to the party. Okay. All right. Oh. Right there. All right. Huh. Okay. Well. Oh, she's gonna do some digging. Ah, uh, shit. And she's gonna get herself into something that she's not supposed to be in the middle of. Cause she's probably just thinks it's some sort of like domestic thing. Whereas it's probably like some big, like corporate scammery whatever going on. Russian. Wait, what? Why are people speaking Russian? What the fuck is going on here? Cause like I mean I get this auctionary thing doesn't seem like too out of the ordinary. But, huh? I'm waiting to. See yeah, I was gonna say I'm waiting to see something. Oh, and this is what he buys. Decimated the criminal underworld of this city. Almost completely annihilated. Right? This is the stuff Jack buys. Because he has all those swords. Didn't the Guardians of the Galaxy beat Ronan? Why is that so much cheaper than the fucking Triceratops skull? How the fuck did they get that? Oh shit. Well, I guess they weren't expecting this. Even though this seems somewhat planned. Oh, is she gonna take Ronin's sword? Or is someone gonna take Ronan's sword? He will. Okay, Jack. Fucking what in the lightsaber is that? She's not gonna try and fight them, right? I know she's like won all the martial arts medals, but like they have guns and shit. Oh shit, okay, she's actually trying this shit. Oh god. There's no way they don't know who she is. Especially off her, like, voice, and you can still see her eyes pretty well. Ow. Ow. Bruh! That sucks. I'm just getting hit by bo- Oh. Girl is good with a bottle, good god. Oh shit. Oh, into the Hurricane Rana. Okay. Oh no, he has a gun. Oh! If you were gonna shoot the gun, why'd you wait so long? Could've easily had her. Oh, I think she's got... Oh, 
<laughs> Never mind. I thought she kicked him in the balls, but there's no way he'd still be fighting right now, so. Hawkeye gonna show up? Because they're both in New they should probably both be in New York at this time, right? Oh, okay, judo takeover. I'm glad that she's actually using actual MMA stuff because they gave her the background of all that shit, but okay. Oh, there's the puppy. One-eyed puppy. Good. Fuck you, don't hit a dog. Holy shit. I don't know who that is. At least we saw a face, though. I don't know why he would take off his mask, though. If there's any security cameras in the area, you're fucked. Wait. I'm stupid. The Ronin's his outfit. But I thought they also call... I thought the guy from the Gu Guardians movie was called Ronin. Okay, well, that... Okay. I didn't realize that. I thought when they were saying Ronin, that Ronin... They meant Ronin as in Guardians of the Galaxy Ronin, not what Hawkeye was doing during Endgame. But how did they get Hawkeye's sword and outfit? I'm so confused. Oh no, and she's on the scene. She's gonna get framed for this. Oh fuck. Just run around the fucking van. Oh god. How can you not recognize she's a girl? Oh no. Yeah, this isn't gonna go well. No matter how much MMA training, that doesn't help you in five people. Especially when they all have like 50 pounds on you. Although apparently that doesn't matter because she's still fucking these guys up somehow. None of these are going to have a key in them. That seems like a terrible idea. Like, you can't start the car. I don't know what you're doing. Oh, is Hawkeye... Hawkeye coming in for the save? Maybe? It has to be, right? Because he, he wants to know why the fuck she has... Yeah. 100%. Come on. You're you're Hawkeye. And who the hell are you? Oh, that's where is that where they're ending it? <laughs> the most wonderful time of the year. No end credit right cuz I've said one. Okay. The most not getting copyrighted for that song. Um, okay. That was quite an opening episode. Uh, I was right. They did finally meet. Of course, they had to at the end there. Um, again, sorry. I, I definitely, for that little end part, was totally thinking when they were mentioning Ronin that they were mentioning the villain from the first Guardians of the Galaxy movie. It completely passed my mind that they had... Um, or that Ronin was Hawkeye, what Hawkeye was going over and doing in Endgame where Black Widow got him from. Um, which, again, don't know how they got his sword and outfit from anyone, especially Hawkeye, which is odd. Um, Armand was killed, 
I didn't really, I actually didn't really talk about that much. I don't know who would have killed him. It looked like a so actually it did look like a sword cut, so it possibly could have been Jack, because like it like kind of looked like his like body half here where where is it right here like was cut like in half like it was looked like a horizontal blood like cut. So I'm assuming it was from a sword, which we know Jack took the um, Ronin sword, Hawkeye's sword, and he is Ronin, which I didn't know was a retractable fucking sword, which would be really cool if that was, like, feasible in real life. Um, obviously not, because it wouldn't be able to be, like, as sturdy or whatever. Um, but obviously they have a bunch of technology here that could make that. Because it's literally just, like, an actual lightsaber, but just an actual sword, which would be amazing to have. Um, but no, that was a very fun episode. Um, I, I like Kate's character so far. She seems interesting. Um, I, I like that if they are going the route of her being the apprentice, it's not Clint's kid. As much as I wouldn't have minded it being Clint's kid, it's interesting that it's the Kate is coming along and because she kind of it's more of instead of her, Hawkeye's kid just being the next Hawkeye because it's his kid. It's someone who actually wants to, like, be... Who looks up to Hawkeye, presumably, and wants to be like him. Um, that's becoming Hawkeye, which is cool. Or the next Archer, whatever. I don't know if Kate Bishop is a character from the comics. And if so, I don't know if she has a different name besides just Hawkeye. Because, ha obviously, Hawkeye is in retirement, presumably, right now. Because I think he was retired in, like... Avenger, yeah, he was, in, he was retired in Civil War or whatever whenever Cap brought him over. So I'm assuming he went back into retirement after everything. So this would be a cool... Because they are kind of doing the next generation of people with obviously like Shang-Chi. They're bringing in She-Hulk and all the other shows they're doing. Um, they're starting to bring in more people, seeing Cap and Iron Man and Natasha all are gone. Um, obviously Falcon becoming the new Captain America. So... They're bringing in a f quite a good amount of like new, not new cast, but they're giving more people leading roles now. So it would be, it's kind of probably the series is going to be the passing of the torch from Clint to Kate, which cool. Um, Never Meet Your Heroes, interesting title for the episode. I don't know if that means her and Hawkeye are going to have like a falling out or whatnot next episode. Obviously, Hawkeye is going to be a bit concerned on why the fuck someone's wearing the ronin outfit which makes me think that he doesn't even know how it got taken which makes me wonder how the fuck it got taken but who knows um i don't know if armin's a character or armand is a character from like comics or if that's just like a popular butler slash like rich person name that i've just heard in other movies and shows before but I like how there's seven of them. That's interesting. I don't know if that's ever going to come back or whatnot. I don't know if the watch has any importance that they found or they were looking for. Other than, like, obviously being whatever they're looking for. But I meant, like, importance as in if it was a watch, someone's watch from a different movie or whatnot. But either way, I'm very excited for next episode. Again, that will be out probably in an hour, two to three. Um, seeing I'm trying to get this episode up before I even watch and record the next one. So... Hope you guys enjoy. If you did, be sure to leave a like on the video, subscribe, all that good stuff. And if you can't wait for another reaction, all my other Marvel reactions um, are up here. So watch those while Hawkeye 2 comes out. So.